Ебать, ты вы что, ебанулись там? Welcome to World Conflict Channel. Russia-Ukraine war continues. Russia opened this morning with pretty, very bad news. According to local sources, a number of Ukrainian kamikaze aid drones attacked the Rosneftoil depot in the Krasnodar region at night. This is probably the largest Ukrainian attack on Russian infrastructure on Russian soil since the start of the war. As a result of the unexpected attack of the Ukrainian armed forces, the oil depot in the region was blown up. In addition, according to another information, an attack took place on a Russian military base in that region too. Many videos of the attack were shared on social media. The city of two apps in the Krasnodar region, where the explosions took place, is located far from the Ukrainian border. The distance from there to the nearest area controlled by Ukraine is 430 kilometers. It should be especially emphasized that Russia has the most modern air defense systems in areas where Ukrainian drones can pass. It is not known how unmanned aerial vehicles covered such a long distance without being caught by Russian air defense systems. Also, Russian sources have also fully confirmed the attack. Let's take a look at the information shared by the Russians. Preliminary reports from two apps city council said two drones exploded at the terminal, and locals earlier reported on the telegram messenger hearing two loud explosions a few seconds apart. Local publication 93.RU said, according to independent telegram channel Astra, the area was attacked by two unidentified aircraft, the terminal's boiler room was damaged, and two one-and-a-half-meter deep holes were found next to the building. Astra also added that 30 meters from the site of the explosions there is a military barracks of the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation. Other sources have not yet confirmed this information. Telegram channels Baza and Shot also reported that the oil depot was attacked by drones loaded with explosives, which impacted 100 meters from the oil storage facility. According to the city administration, at 2.30 am the fire was localized on an area of 200 square meters. The open burning was liquidated at 2.37 am and at 3 am the fire was completely extinguished. The city administration has denied that there was any damage to the facility's oil tanks. Oil tanks are not affected. There is no oil spill. There are no victims, the city administration said. 32 firemen and 11 pieces of equipment were used to extinguish the fire. There is no cause for concern. Two apps is located around 500 kilometers from the nearest part of Ukrainian-held territory, between the Russian Black Sea coastal cities of Novorossiysk to the north and Sochi to the south. We will share the latest updates on battles in Bakhmut in our next video. Let's continue our video with Russian propaganda. Russian propaganda says that it's the US who are against ceasefire in Ukraine and US is fine with cynical killing of Ukrainians. То есть циничное убийство украинцев ее вполне устраивает. А вот если, не дай бог, где-то перемирие или прекращение огня, это, ну, это цинизм с точки зрения американцев, само собой. В этом плане вот, в это, вот это нутро Соединенных Штатов Америки, коллективного Запада, проявляется на этом примере очень действительно показательно. Они за то, чтобы Украина продолжала гибнуть. Украинцы продолжали гибнуть, неважно сколько их будет. Thanks for watching. You can support us by subscribing to our channel.